Hi, this is a walkthrough for adding secure fields to a DDP. To give you an idea of what secure fields are used for, we're going to pull up a document in which a table is available for billing information. Ideally, the recipient is going to fill in either credit card information or ACH information that's going to be dependent on what they select in the payment method field. So to begin, we must select the DDPs tab, choose the DDP, then navigate down to the Delivery Options object and choose the DocuSign Delivery option. Next, we must choose which recipient will be entering values into the secure fields. In this case, it's most likely going to be the client. So we select the recipient and then inside the recipient detail page, select the new secure field button. This will initiate the record type page where we must choose which type of secure field this is going to be whether it's checkbox, list, radio, text, or text area. We're going to choose list and create the payment options field. First, we must give it an anchor string, and this must be very unique. Next, we give it a group name, and then list values. Our list values will be credit card and ACH and this is semicolon delimited. We're going to make it required and then once we're satisfied we're going to select save and new to add additional secure fields. Now a description of record types can be found on the support page for secure fields on our support website. In addition descriptions of every field within the edit page of a secure field can be found on the same page of our support site. Now we're editing the card type secure field, giving it values of Amex, Visa, or MasterCard. So if the recipient selects a payment method of credit card, they must be required to select which card type they're going to use. To make a field conditional, you must first have the parent field created and then enter in a value for the parent field. We're going to do the same thing for the other three credit card fields. Next, we're entering in the card number secure field. We're going to give it a parent value of payment method and a value of credit card. Then we're going to choose it to be a number and we'll make it required. Then we're going to save and move on to the next credit card field. This field will be the CVC number. If you plan to update Salesforce with these secure fields, you must give them all group names. But we're going to make the parent field the payment method and the parent value credit card. Also, make it required and a number type. Now we're going to save and create another secure field. This field is going to be for the expiration date on the credit card. We're giving it a group name of expiration date, the parent field of payment method, and the parent value of credit card. We'll also make this required and move on to the bank secure fields. The first bank secure field will be the bank name. We're going to give it a group name. choose the payment method as the parent field, but this time we're going to give it a parent value of ACH because we want ACH to activate the bank fields. We can default these fields with static information or values from our related objects. In this case we actually have bank information so we're going to default it with bank tags from the account object. Now we're going to move on to the next bank field which is going to be the account number. We're going to give it a group name, default it with the account number field on the account object, and you can always use your field tagger to insert merge tags into the default value field. Choose payment method as the parent field and ACH as the parent value. Then make it required. 
and move on to the next bank field. This field will be the routing number. We're going to give it a group name. Then make it required. Give an apparent field of payment method and apparent value of ACH. And then finally, default it with a merge field. And now move on to our final bank field. This field will be the bank location. We must give it a group name. a default value, a parent field of payment method, and a parent value of ACH, and then make it required. And now we're going to save because we've completed all our secure fields. Now, we can view a list of all our secure fields by selecting the recipient and navigating down to the list view of our secure fields. If we want to make any changes, we can select the edit link next to the secure field we want to change. At this point, we're going to wrap up the demo. If you want to learn how to tag your document with these secure fields, we recommend moving on to the next page that explains how to tag your document with DocuSign fields. But that is how you add secure fields to a DDP. Thank you.